got to repeat that. Nope, I don't. She keep running back to see me do it my way. Woo. But Joe Biden was telling the black leaders that Hispanics are going to outnumber them in the future. Da -da -da. And I'm saying that it's inevitable. Because you got South America right there. You got Mexico right there. You have too many people that speak Hispanic. You feel me? They are connected by that language. Although some of the words sounds different, the dialogue, sometimes the definition means um, something else, but it's still the same Hispanic, and they all speak the Hispanic. So it's like, yeah, of course they go on numbers, but also they're very diverse. Very, very diverse. So it's inevitable, man. You have to understand black people like us, we came from Africa, you feel me? White people, y'all came from um, Europe. We all ascended on this land and we created the United States of America, which was the greatest idea in mankind history, hands down, right? But at the same time, we still surrounded by, you know what I mean? The people, you have the Native Americans, and you have the Hispanics, from Mexico, you have Hispanics from South America, you have Hispanics from the Caribbean. So it's like, you know, it's inevitable. It's, it'd be wise for you to start speaking Spanish and learn how to speak Spanish, you feel me? Africans come from Africa. Most black people came from Africa, you feel me? And most white people came from Europe. You know what I mean? Genetically, it's been proven. So on this land right here, yeah, yeah, it's true. They are going to outnumber us. Eventually, if they haven't already, you can't even trust the census. But the reason why he's even saying that because he already see the numbers already and he's telling us. But at the same time, it doesn't take away from the African... Let this shit pass. It doesn't take away from the African-American getting his reparation. Like, just so, just just because they they go to outnumber us does not mean that you cannot still hold up to your promise and the promise that was given to the African American. Like you cannot you cannot erase that history. Like you feel know I me? Mean? That 40 acres and a mule, that shit went up to 400 acres and 20 mules. The fuck is you talking about? Because it's like <clears throat> That's almost a trillion now. So, we still owe the African American. I don't care if they're going to outnumber birds in the whole wide world. The truth of the matter is, that is inevitable. It's, it's like, I can't say it's day land or anything else like that because people fight war and they lose war. You feel me? You, your land is giving up. Da -da -da. You know what I mean? Let these niggas pass, pass, pass. It's inevitable, Joe Biden. That's something we should've, you, you gotta accept that. You know what I mean, accept that and let it go, you feel me? Just accept it and let it go. <laughs> the best thing we can do right now, there's a lot of mixed kids too, you feel me? It's a lot, of, a lot of mixed kids too, so it's not just the Hispanic population that's growing too, it's a lot of uh, blended, Blended. When I say blended, I mean blended mate race that's coming up. That's a lot. So that's something that we ought to look at too. You feel me? But he is right about that. Like it's something that like it's like if you haven't come to grips with that yet, then you in denial. You dig? Like you just in denial. Like that's something that you gotta accept a long, long time ago. You dig? same way probably the Native Americans were thinking like, yo, these white people are about to outnumber us. They keep coming, da da, -da and, and that's what happened. We, one thing they're not even putting into account was that the African American hasn't even reached his fullest potential of population. You feel me? If we're not dealing with this, we're dealing with that. The elimination of us, the, the, the extinction of us, you feel me? Then you also have people from Africa that's also coming here. We don't really come here that much like that. It's, a, it's, a, it's across the whole Pacific Ocean. So, yeah, like, you know what I mean? I can understand people's 
the race issue is big out here. But if you just see it for what it is and understand that even if the Hispanic population grows, the race that's going to outnumber all of us is the mixed kids because we live in a society where we want to overcome racism and, um, and separation and segregation. That's something that is the DNA, is the foundation, is the cornerstone. You feel me? It is the cornerstone, is the building blocks of an America. It's part of the DNA of America. So one thing that we need to understand is that, look, man. Damn, you nigga. Know, nigga almost hit that nigga. Like, you in a car, you can slow down. You on four wheels. Like, a nigga walking. He's trying to cross the street type shit. But yeah, like, they, like, that's something that's going to happen, man. But one thing I'm telling y'all, man, the blended kids, man, that's something we need to set better examples. So they don't, like, it seems like history is repeating itself, and we don't really know the whole history of mankind. We don't, most of the time when we, when we read about history, we starting from, um, we starting from slavery and shit. And if it's not slavery, they're starting from Europe and they're not really telling the whole world history of how were the Chinese living? What was Africa before the slave trade? You feel me? Bring all those act bring all those history out. All them shit that y'all got locked up in your vault, you gotta bring all those things out, you feel me? What were these history? Once we know the history, we know that history repeats itself. It doesn't repeat itself in the same manner, cause things change. But we know that history repeats itself, so we don't repeat those histories. And it seems like it's a select few that knows. So when they start panicking like that, we need to look deeper into what they're panicking about and know that these things are repeating itself again. You feel me? It's just repeating itself, and that's what it is. Like this, he's he, black. Black. I think the black leaders ain't thinking about that. Like. He's showing fear when he brings that up. <clears> there <throat> gotta be a fear in his base. Like, there gotta be something that they're talking about. It gotta be something that they spoke about in, in secret rooms for him to even bring those things out. And Barack Obama also said something very similar to that when African, when he was president, he, African Americans was acting for reparation. Then he said in one of his interview that he, uh, he feels like other minority group, like the Hispanics would get offended and everything else. I'm like, they can't get offended, like, you feel me? At the end of the day, everybody knows what the African American has built. Look at what they built. Look at what look at look at look at the sustainment of the economy of the United States. You feel me? Like, it was used for free labor. Free labor, my nigga, even the cotton, the picking of the cotton is still what's holding the American economy together up to this day. Everybody know that. Like, everybody know that. That's what built the stock market and everything else like that. You feel me? And we know how money grows, so we know that money's still growing. <laughs> like, it's, that money has been growing ever since. You feel me? Especially when you ain't got to pay your workers. You know, imagine... Imagine a company, one of the biggest companies, let's see, let's take a look at like Apple. And Apple is not paying its workers any any compensation, any insurance or anything else like that. All it's doing is just working its workers and keeping a profit for themselves and paying them the bare minimum. And we know how they operate. Even up to this day, Apple has one of the biggest assets as a company, just have money just sitting around. They can go a whole year. A lot of companies fail within this year alone. And it haven't even been a year. It's a few months. You feel me? It's probably six months and a lot of companies went under already. So, and a lot of other companies was already going down before the pandem and, uh, pandemic. So, just imagine. <clears throat> the United States government is in operation. It's functioning. It's operating because of the African American. A lot of governments who started around the same time as the United States have went under. Look at Russia. Russia went under and came back around. The Soviet Union, what happened, what happened to the Soviet Union? You know what I mean? Like, let's take a look around the world and see how many 
how many uh, how many governments have went on the and have to rebuild themselves, and yet the United States the United States still stands, and that's because of that cotton free labor and shit like that. You feel me? And all the other sugar canes and all the coffee that was being picked, human trafficking. You feel me? All this shit. Those were money generators. You feel me? Like when I talk, when we speak about the stock market, people don't know that the formation of the stock market was based on slaves, basically. Yeah, instead of selling products and selling companies and sell and using them as stocks and everything else, li liquidity and everything else like that, and bonds and everything else like that, they was using, they was using the former Africans who descendants are now that are black Americans. So it's like, you feel me? If the stock market is doing great during the pandemic and they're making more money than ever, they tripling their prices. I feel like they're pricing these things too high. Look at Airbnb just came out today and that shit is ridiculous, man. But they're tripling these prices. So imagine doing that for humans. Yeah, like that money is still operating. The money is what is holding the United States all together. So nobody can come here and tell us that um, I can't even say that and be like, yo, the African, nah, as well as a long time ago, they can't, they don't deserve it. Nah, that's bullshit because their money is still was holding everything up. The reason why sanitation and all these things, they clean up the streets and the constructions and everything else and all these other company, the American military and all that, is because of what the African American has put in. And that money is still functioning the system. So I don't want to hear nothing about this population and that population. Yeah, they're going to grow. Like, you feel me? The only reason why those population happen to be growing at a faster rate than most rates than, uh, than other populations is because of the wealth of America. Plain and simple. And that wealth couldn't be possible if it wasn't for the African American. It's about time that we acknowledge that. Let's acknowledge that. You feel me? That's one thing. Damn, my bus ain't come yet. <clears throat> I got five more minutes for y'all. But let's acknowledge that. Like, that's something that we need to acknowledge and know. The reason why we even have, like I said, military, we have a police system, we have a, a law and order in place and everything else like that. These things don't happen by good faith and good will and, and all these other ac uh, acronyms that we want to use because of hope and the liberty and the pursuit. No, nigga, it's all income it has to be something that's being generated we have to trade with other people and everything else so we can we, we can sustain if you have a country that's deteriorating and is and the and bridges is breaking down and everything else the reason why uh trump can write a stimulus package or barack obama can write a stimulus package it seems like we're writing a stimulus package every 48 years it's because of the work that they've put in so yeah, man, fuck the minorities, which is an insult. I don't even think it's a minority. They're lying about those numbers, by the way. But <clears throat> that being said, yeah, they're going, yeah, they're going to grow. They're going, they're going to do it. Like you, they're going to grow them. You see them waste. You see, you see the woman. The women's they are made to bear children. Like. You see their waist, like you see how fine they are. Like they gonna bear a lot of kids, man. Like it's not, it's it's nothing that we can fight over. That da -da, they 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 just it is what it is. Like you feel me? There's too many. They're like they're, the distance is not that far for them to travel. Even with all this technology, it still takes a long time for us Africans to come across i'm talking about my people africa if them for us to come across this land it still take a very long time so you know what i mean i'm not saying that this is their land and everything else like that technically speaking you feel me it's a native american land and the rest of it is their land <laughs> you feel me it just happens to be that we want a war like we not we i'm talking about we as in america we the the real American, which is the Native American, the Black American, and the White American, have 
have have settled here, and it's a, it's still a settlement, my nigga. Like, however we see it, it's, we, they still settling and everything else like that. So yeah, I'm sorry to tell you guys, man. Like, that's something I seen a long, 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 long time ago. I'm like, yeah, like, feel me? One family, they look like what we would look like in Africa. Like that, you got that many kids and. You know what I mean? That's how it's supposed to look. You dig, but you gotta see it for what it is. And my bus is coming. Here we come. But yeah, don't take the. Man, that's not even it. I'm tired. Let me ask this nigga in my bus at. How you doing? The 120. Yeah. Oh, she coming this way? Well, she came from somewhere. You know, she's coming from the Ah, please, thanks. Yeah, so I got 50 in the seven seconds. Let me close it up real quick. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Don't take it offensive. Don't take it, don't be offended by it. And, um,. It's not a threat to your civilization, you feel me? A lot of people are mixing in with them too, a lot. Like, you got black and white doing the same thing, they're mixing in with them. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. All right. Appreciate it, sir. Oh, man. Yeah, you too.